Hello Internet! So today I want to show you a couple of new features that are landed in, uh, in uh, 1.2 release that uh, is going to be released uh, um, today. Um, the first one is called the Style Overview and I'm super excited to show you and uh, let's jump in uh, right now. So let's go in the theme settings and you'll notice a new um, item here in the uh, Builder Tweaks, uh, sorry, Structure Panel, you'll see in the contextual menu, we have a style overview. It's experimental right now. Uh, experimental means you, you can obviously test it. Uh, it, it, should, it shouldn't have any known bugs, but uh, since it's really a, a complex feature, uh, I'm um, waiting to get more feedback to make it uh, uh, official and uh, non-experimental. So right now, just enable style overview, save settings, and let's go back in the builder. Let's refresh for now. <clears throat> and I'll get rid of this test section right now. Let's just create a section with a container and a div. And let's add some styles. I'm going to add the margin to 100 just to make it center a bit more. Let's just put a flex box right here. Let's make it centered. And on the block, I'm going to add, let's go in layout. Uh, let's add 200 as width and eight. Uh, did I? Uh, okay. That wasn't correct. Okay, let's come back to block my layout. So we said 200. Let's add a border of uh, 50 and a background color so we can see our nice block with a border and a yellow background. Right. So, what is style overview? Let's just click now, right click on the block in the structure panel. You will see a new item called style overview here. Just going to click on it. And you see now a new panel from Advanced Themer uh, that lists all the active styles on this element. So, you can see we have uh, on the ID level. This is the name of the ID. If I click on it, we are back to our block, our ID. Okay, just going to reopen it again. We have a background with, with our variable, the borders, the height, and the width. On the desktop, right? And we have all the values on the break, uh, each breakpoint. So for now, I have no breakpoints here, but let's add, let's decide to um, change some value. We can do that with, with um, the style overview. So I'm going to change 200 with, with uh, 100. And let's see now the, um, uh, the circle, the circle is, is uh, smaller. But we want to see where, where it has been applied. I can just over on the property, each property here. Let's click on eight. And you see the panel will automatically open where the values have been uh, modified. Super neat. Um, and of course, it, uh, it also supports all your pseudo uh, values. So. Mm, let's say I wanted another color um, or another radius. Let's say radius. Let's just uh, activate the overstate. Let's go and border radius. And let's say I want uh, 20. Okay. 
and now my radius is 20 if I um, disable the overstate and I over you see the border radius is changing if I now open the style overview I will still have my values here but if I click, click on the overstate we see now that we have 20 as the border value and of course I can change from here too so if I if I want to say 50% 50%, 50%, and 50%. You can see that now, just to make sure, let's let's uh, get rid of these one. So mm, this will leave me some time to explain the delete option. You can delete a whole row from the style, the style overview that will delete all the values on each breakpoint. So we will do that now. Let's just delete the borders. And let's just get back here. You see now we don't have uh, borders on the normal state. And if I over it, we have all 50%. So once you have a uh, style applied to an element, just click on style overview. You will have um, an overview of the styles on each breakpoint and each pseudo where you can uh, of course uh, change the values from here and it also supports uh, autocomplete variables so if I want to enter uh, danger for example we see varbrix danger I can just click on it and it will insert the variable danger from Brix. And if I want to check if it's correctly uh, inserted, I'm going to click 8, see on my tablet, and you see here, my variable 8 has been correctly inserted. It's really, really powerful. Let's just make an example. Um, I'm going to create, um, I'm going to add to the normal the breakpoint, the position uh, relative just for now. Let's just open the style overview. You see that we have now the position relative in the table. But I'm going to insert a value that doesn't exist in the drop-down in Bricks. I'm going to insert inherit. I'm not even sure if inherit is a, is a correct value of position. But I'm just going to insert it and click on position. And now you see that uh, the position is correctly uh, updated with the inherit value. And if I am not going to show you, but if you click on the front end and inspect the element, you'll see that the CSS is, cor is correctly generated with the inherit value. So now with style overview, you are not limited anymore uh, by the default bricks value in the drop downs. You can insert whatever uh, value you want to, and it will apply correctly. So it gives you, give you more freedom to apply um, values that are not uh, inserting bricks. Super powerful. Mm, let me see if I have uh, I, I have a couple of things to show you. Uh, we should be good right here. Oh yeah, of course, something really important. I'm going to add a class to it. Let's create a new class. New class 3, for example. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Let me just quickly get rid of that. Uh, sorry for that, guys. Okay, and here as well. By the way, don't try to get my password or thing like that just from local. <laughs> you, have, you will have no success. Okay, great. Let's come back here. You see we added a new class 3 that is outlined in the structured panel and here. Let's just add... Uh, what can we do? We can add, um, let's say, a border width. Okay, let's just go with border. Let's apply a 5 pixel border, let's make it solid, and let's add this color. Oh, sorry, it didn't work right. Okay, we have now a solid border, 
but sorry, I want to have this element a bit larger. So let's go back into style overview and make it here. Let's go back to 200. And by the way, we you see right now that we uh, we we still have our ID styles listed here. But we have now also the class uh, associated to the to the ID. And we see that we have our borders style as a solid uh, property and also the row value, the row value for the color. So now you can list everything. And if we add a, a new class to it, let's say new class four, and we're just going to apply, I don't know, uh, visibility, visible, just for example. And style overview, you'll see now we have two classes and all our properties are correctly listed here. And of course it will list on the breakpoints and the pseudo for the class as well. You can filter them. So let's say we want to check uh, where are my borders, just going to list border and you see all our classes here. Um, all our borders are listed in the new class three and I can change it from there. I can also um, click on any of these buttons, let's say new class four, and it will correctly show me the class. So if I go here and new class three, it will apply the new class three in the border, in the builder, sorry. So super quick um, workflow. If I click on visibility here, it will open the new class four and the correct panel where visi visibility is uh, enabled. So it works also as a shortcut. It's an overview, you can use it to change the values, you can uh, use it to quickly access where are your, your values inserted. And um, if we click um, on these uh, buttons, new class, so now the, the screen is uh, too small. So I'm going to just add more values, casual values. I'm going to make zero, 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 zero. Let's continue, zero, 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 zero. And if I open now, uh, you'll see all the zero values. Just to, to show you that if I click on new class uh, four, it will jump on the new class four. And new class three, it will make the new class three on the top. So if you have a lot of um, classes inserted, you can easily navigate through them. And if I make uh, some classes um, blocked, shall locked, I'm going to lock this class. And if I open the style overview, I will see also the um, uh, indicator that this class is locked. And you see, when you have a locked class, we can't access to this value anymore. So you, you are not supposed to change these values. So you can click and you can change and you can modify this class. You will have to go back to the new class and unlock it. And if I unlock it again, open style overview, you can change again your values. Okay, um, last thing I want to show you in the style overview uh, feature, if we go back to the, to the uh, theme settings and we, we, we are going to open the class and styles um, tweaks and enable the lock styles on element ID level feature. Let's save it. Let's save what we've done now and refresh. Okay, now mm, the ID should be uh, locked. It isn't. Let me see why it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't update it correctly. Okay, let's refresh. <coughs> oh, some 
something something is going on here. Not sure why. The block acts. Mm. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Hmm. Why it's not working? It is strange. This should be locked. Oh no, sorry, I unlocked it. <laughs> Let's be safe. Just the morning, guys. <laughs> please, please bear with me. Let's refresh. Okay, and if I click block, it's now correctly locked. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, just I wanted to show you that um, if you don't know this feature already, this means that you can't access the style uh, unless you click on this lock icon. And now the styles on the ID level are available. Okay. And I just wanted to show you that um, it also it's um, integrated with the style overview. So if you open now the style overview, you'll see that a little a lock icon here is uh, visible and you can't modify your styles. But if you, click, if you click on it, now again you are aware that you are modifying values on the ID, on the ID level and you can modify just like before. Okay, I think it's a really, really great feature. It will um, spare you a lot of time building and see where are the values. You don't have to uh, get crazy anymore to see uh, where is the value applied and, uh, and what's going on on each uh, breakpoint. Super easy to uh, have a clear understanding of what's going on on your elements. Okay, let's finish this one for now and let's uh, come back to the theme settings. I want to show you the second feature that is shipped uh, within 1.2. Let's go in Elements and now you'll see a new option. Superpower the custom CSS control. Let's activate it and save. And uh, refresh the builder again. And click on any element. Let's go into the block and unlock the ID styles for now. Open the CSS tab and now this control, the custom CSS control, is uh, super powered with a lot of new features. Let's see them in action. I'm going to create a class. So I'm going to create class and I just click one bracket and you see it automatically closed it. So you don't, this should help you to avoid open bracket that will break your CSS. So automatically you will have your brackets closed. And you see also a little underline the brackets. That means if you have a lot of styles and just um, click just near the bracket, you will see which bracket it corresponds. Easy when you have a lot of style and it could mess up um, where, where are the closing brackets. Here is a little indicator. Uh, let's just come back here and if I click enter, if I type enter on my keyboard, you will see that it will automatically indent the, the, the next line super easy, super cool, because in, uh, in, um, in bricks, in core bricks, if you go on, on a new line, you will just go here, which is pretty ugly, and you have to manually click uh, the space uh, uh, key, which is really annoying, just clicking enter, and it will be indent as you expect it. Let's add a property, so let's make color, and you'll see now drop-down suggestion with all the CSS property that you can easily um, go up and down and choose which, uh, which CSS value you want to add. Let's just, let's just add column for now. Enter, and it's done. No, no tab, or just the Enter key to uh, autocomplete your property. And now, 
I want to add a variable. I'm just going to use the, the previous word, the danger. I'm just going to write danger. And boom, we have the auto suggestion for the CSS variables. I'm going to select the one that I want, this one, enter, and boom, it's done. This superpower will make your CSS super, super faster than, than the one used by Bricks. And you see the colors are really uh, straightforward and uh, the, the property suggestion are correct and, uh, and the, the autocomplete is great. So this would make your workflow, if you are working with CSS, a lot more better, a lot better than, uh, than before. Okay, this, uh, uh, this video is already 20 minutes. I'm going to stop here. And see you the next time, guys. Bye-bye.